What is up, fish friends? How's it going? Hope you are doing well. My name is Zenzo with Tazawa Tanks. Plants can be super beneficial in an aquarium. They help with uh, kind of making the tank look good. But in addition, they do a lot to help with the water quality. They'll help to reduce nitrates. They will also um, make you uh, have to do less frequent water changes. And they also provide some cover for the fish and make them feel more comfortable. One of the problems with plants is that some fish eat them or they will tear them up. Cichlids, specifically African cichlids, but also your Central and South American cichlids, are notorious for destroying plants, whether just to kind of tear them up because it's in their space, or to eat them. As many of you know, Mbuna are omnivorous fish, meaning that they will eat plant matter and uh, animal matter. Uh, you know, they'll eat crustaceans and vertebrates, uh, little fish when they can get a chance, kind of opportunistic. But for the most part, they have kind of a higher vegetation-based diet. In the wild, they eat a lot of algae. They'll scrape the algae off the rocks. And in the aquarium environment, they'll eat a lot of vegetables. If you put, you know, zucchini, lettuce, spinach in the tank, they'll eat all of that. They'll eat live plants if you put certain live plants in the tank. So it does make it difficult to have any kind of plants in an African cichlid tank. Recently, I've kind of had a newfound love for aquarium plants, mostly because of my planted aquarium upstairs that, uh, you know, Aquarium Co-op um, was uh, kind enough to kind of point me in the right direction and supply me with a lot of plants for that tank. So I started to do some research to kind of figure out what can I do with my African cichlids as far as plants are concerned? Now I've made other videos talking about how you can use like pothos and filters and sumps so that uh, you can reduce the number of nitrates by kind of having a plant draped on top of the tank or you know having one stick in a filter. But I haven't really had any success with having plants in an African cichlid tank where they stay alive. So I started experimenting with some plants and I had some good results. So the first one is with hornwort. So hornwort is not a super popular plant in the aquarium hobby. Um, it is kind of a nuisance plant. Um, hornwort can be found in almost every continent. I think it's in every continent in the world, except for like Antarctica. It can be found like in a lot of different waterways. But anyway, so I got a whole bunch of hornwort. In fact, I got like, I don't know, like one of those large white garbage bags. I got a full garbage bag full of it from one of my viewers who also happens to uh, live in my area, came by the fish club and brought me a whole bunch of plants. And uh, so I was happy to take those from her. I stuck some outside experimenting with the goldfish. I put some in Oscar's tank and I put some in the African cichlid tank. I've had the hornwort in the tank for about three weeks. They haven't touched it. They haven't messed with it. They haven't nibbled at it. I put some other plants in there just to kind of test to see if maybe they don't, they're you know not interested in eating the plants. They destroyed those, they ate them up, they disappeared within a day, but they've left the hornwort alone. I don't know if it's a texture of the hornwort because it had its kind of like needles or if it's a taste, but needless to say, it has not been damaged by the cichlids. Now, if I were to try to plant this in the substrate, I might have some problems because cichlids do kind of tend to dig and you know move substrate around. But just having it float on top of the tank, it's done very well. Um, I just have to make sure that I have the light shining on the tank so that the uh, hornwort has light so that it can photosynthesize. The other good thing about hornwort is that it is fast growing. So if you are gonna have any kind of plant in an African cichlid tank, fast growing is definitely something that's gonna be useful because not only does that mean that that plant is absorbing a lot of nutrients out of the water, it being the nitrates, but also if there is any damage, it usually can regrow and repair itself very quickly. The other plant that I've been experimenting with with a lot of success is Kabamba. Now Kabamba is very similar as far as uh, the look compared to Hornwort. They're very similar looking. So I'm guessing that some of the characteristics about the Hornwort that is unappealing to the uh, African cichlids might be the same for the Kabamba. The Kambamba I've actually been testing for about two months in my Mbuna tanks and the same thing, they haven't touched it. I just leave it floating on top of the tanks the same way that I have uh, the hornwort and they've left it alone, they haven't nibbled at it, um, it's just floating there and growing and I would assume that it's also doing a pretty decent job of absorbing nitrates. Lastly, I've also been experimenting with Java Moss. I'm not a big fan of Java Moss in certain tanks just because I feel like it can you know, become overgrown very quickly. Um, but I have been playing with it in some of my cichlid tanks just to kind of see how it does floating. So I haven't really uh, attached it to anything. I just kind of threw a clump of it in there, wrapped it around the airline tubing where the uh, sponge filter goes, and let it go. 
What I've noticed again is over a period of months, um, they haven't messed with the uh, they haven't messed with the Java moss, and it hasn't uh, died back. So again, it's just another plant that you could try in an African cichlid tank that they'll probably leave alone. So those are just my observations. You know whether they work for you or not, I can't say for certain. But what I can tell you is that my Embuna, the African cichlids that do eat plants, have not touched the hornwort, and they have not touched the kabamba, and they haven't messed with the Java moss. I would love to read down below in the comments what your experiences are as far as uh, African cichlids and cichlids in general with plants and have you had any success? Have you tried some floating plants? How do they do? Because I would love to experiment with some other plants in the future. That's all I had for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.